All right, so now you guys know all about invoices, quotes. Now let's get into the website. Go back into the dashboard. And uh, this is um, the Wix editor. So, stone setters, this is your LLC. This drop down menu here, lots of cool features. Uh, what we're going to be looking for is edit site. Also, get to this feature in the bottom left hand corner here. So open up the editor. And the editor's pretty cool. So first thing I'll show you guys is what to do if you make mistakes. Um, and then basically from here, uh, I'll probably just kind of make your website, let you guys just kind of learn as I go along with it. Uh, looks like this is the logo that Andrew made for you guys. You actually didn't do too bad of a job. Um, try to get you something maybe without so much green in it. If you guys like this, we could use it. It's totally up to you. Uh, this is the menu um, as far as it being on the screen. So how these work is that uh, websites are divided into sections. Um this section here is the header. Uh, it's got a small sl slider embedded into it, so it's like a large header. Um, this is the menu bar. Um, all you can really do here is change the style of menu. So like, for instance, you didn't like that particular style, you wanted some lines in it, give you a couple different templates to choose from. Um, this is extremely clean, leave it that way. This is your slider. So let's say you guys are doing new work and you wanted to show off something new in the slider. You can always come in and add different pictures. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to go in. We're going to add some of the pictures that I got off of the emails. This is what we've pulled up so far. Um, it's a good amount of pictures here. Looks like there's some new stuff too, some grills and stuff. All right, looks like uh, got some good, got a couple things here. Uh, it's good labels too. Very, very nice. I wish things would have worked out. Just doing a good job. Um, so upload media, let's make sure you saw where I put that up. Now, um, in the future, you know, if you guys like Dropbox, Google Photos, um, I don't use any of this stuff here on the bottom, like Flickr, or Hard, or the links that are new. I do use uh, Dropbox. I could see people using Instagram. Facebook might be useful. Google Drive, though, is extremely useful to organize your photos with. Um, I definitely advise, you know, taking advantage of Google Drive as you guys are doing things in the business. Um, your Wix account itself, you had more than one uh, website. You can go to other websites you've worked on and pull this stuff off of. The most basic common one is going to be the computer. Just taking it on the computer, taking it right off. I mean, I use this a lot. Oh, I also use the drive a lot. A lot of customers connect me through Dropbox. But nine times out of ten, I pull this off the computer. Just like we're doing right now. So let's go into my computer. Do, 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 do. Desktop. Stone setters. Nice. I see you've got some new photos. So select them, let them load up. New photos will come right to the top. Keep it all nice and organized. Look at that. Kenny, how are you, sir? I see you there in the background. Very cool. And I just obviously uh, made those myself. So. But what we're going to do is we're going to add both of these pictures to our slider, just as an example. So you get the shift button down on your keyboard, 
select more than one photo at a time. Add them. Now, notice that they came in with a title. Now, I may not want titles on the slider. I just want pictures. So, you can take them off. Or you could add them in. Totally up to you. I would probably say an intro slider. You probably just kind of want it to be pictures. Um, maybe a small title on the bottom. So we could get into that if you'd like. But I'd probably suggest do it like this. If you do not want them to auto-populate in your photo galleries, because all photo galleries you use in the system are going to use this same uh, way of organization, go to the settings, and you can put without titles. And that will stop happening. Or if you want them to add to the end of the gallery, you could put that too. Or after a selected image, you could put that too. Or you want the photos to populate out. For us, we put ours right in the front. We're going to leave it that way. Let's see how our new photos look. Oh, man. Not really sure if I like how that one looks. So, it's really important. You play around with the photos um, when you put them in, especially in sliders. You don't have as much... Uh, room to maneuver. Like you have to make this pretty big to fit the whole picture. But let's just see how it looks. So if you ever want to preview how your site looks, once you make a change, just hit the preview button. That second picture came out awesome. These are the ones we already had set. Awesome, awesome, and awesome. Very cool. So now you can maybe see why I picked those other three pictures um, out of the ones that were sent. It's because they fit the best. They look the best in there. Take this one out, add it somewhere else, and we can use this new picture to lead as if we were going to add new pictures for our clientele to see. Perfect. Um, now, I'm going to kind of come in here and, and do my thing a little bit. Um, I do not believe you need the header to be this big. Let's see what it looks like with this big of a header in mobile. This is how you would switch to the mobile. Boom. You're in the mobile site. Wow, that overlaps. Okay, we got to change this. So, why I would recommend having a small photo gallery, I may have mentioned this before, um, at least in the beginning, in the, the home page. Because imagine if you had 20 something pictures here, it would take forever for a customer to scroll to the bottom. And on the bottom, if you had some kind of contact form, they may never get to it. And a lot of people are looking for this kind of stuff on their phone at work. So I wouldn't even allow that to be a possibility. Um, so you see things are kind of overlapping on each other. And this is very, very common uh, to have happen. Um, so I kind of want to let you know that. The way to get around this is hit the mobile page optimizer. And it should help us optimize. And today it did not, didn't move anything around. So we're going to do this the old fashioned way. But usually that'll help. So if you ever see these jumbled up on you, don't freak out. Just kind of trying to teach you how to do it. Um, we'll kind of go from there. So let's see. How does this one apply? Uh, delete spaces. And that's cool. I actually do use that feature a lot. Um, so this is in the way. Doesn't want to get out of the way. Doesn't want to let me move it. This is just going to make the page longer. Not going to pull that down. See so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of it. Get it out of here. You guys think of that, right? That's how I like it. So if things give you a hard time, get it out. Now, Organize this the way I like it. A whole lot more screen to work with. Oh, looks good. Cute. Oh. Get over here. Nice. That's the full footer. Okay. 
I can make it any shorter, but I guess not. Nice and thin, organized, put it here. I took my wick symbol, no problem. I know where to find it. So, this will, the top one is a dragging, it's dragging this up and down. And the bottom one is for resizing, so big or small. In the mobile editor, you really can't do uh, much. It's more about uh, repositioning. You can't actually like change too much. Um, you can make like these bigger though, if you wanted to. Uh, change the spice, uh, spacing, or change the orientation. Uh, I like the traditional orientation. I think it looks better. Pretty about right. Let's get that information we lost back. Hidden elements. Um, no. Powerwix.com back. Way too big. So taking that box, bringing it down. This little symbol here will let me center. That's a lot of information. You'll just see me do it over a little bit. You'll be good to go. And now we got a pretty decent looking player. This is the, our page background. Oh. It is some kind of repercussion of this. So, looks like our header in this situation is behind this page. Let's see if we can fix that. So, I'm hitting left click into the section we're having a problem with. Going to arrange, see if I can bring it to the front. Is that going to work? It might. No, I did not. Now, can we make this get arranged? Oh, uh, we cannot. So, we're going to move this around. I thought it was pretty foolish being that big. Absolutely honest. I hear that big looks ridiculous. The stone setters, though, might actually look pretty cool, like here. But, uh, just throwing that out there. Something like that. So now we've got the page to ourself. This is about our line for our header. Let's scroll this down. And give it a nice big screen to work on. Perfect. All right. And uh, now we've got our page. Let's get that stuff back over here. Beautiful, right? Come on. Let's go. So, I might have done a little too much at once. Maybe it, uh, it's freezing up on me. I do have a lot of tabs open. I guess I was doing some administrative stuff right before I, was, I took on this. I was working on a bunch of things. I'm in. Beautiful. It caught back up. So, let me just go ahead and kind of get out of this stuff. Uh, get a little finicky. Got too much stuff open as always. So Wix is a pretty heavy program. I should mention that over here. Um, so I feel like it takes up a lot of bandwidth. I feel like it takes up um, a lot of uh, computer, you know, like uh, memory um, that works. So I don't have too much going. These are your videos so far. 
All right, cool. Beautiful. So now we've got this kind of set up. It's looking pretty good. Um, actually, do kind of like how the setup is coming along so far. That should look like this. All right, so that page background's way too bright looking. It just doesn't look right. Bring it down a little bit, like 75. Um, original size. So we change. We are changing the background here slightly. I say put it right in the center and see how that looks. And we'll put the freeze effect on it. Um, I guess it's only going to come with one. Now preview it. Now we can kind of see how the mobile site looks. See? Pretty neat, right? I said we're going to change all this up. Just kind of want to give you an idea how everything works. Oh, okay. So, now you kind of get an idea as to how the mobile editor works, how the sliders work. In the mobile editor, you can then do this for each page. And so forth. Very, very cool. So, I believe maybe this header is here in the top, so it is in every page, like the sliders in every page. Um, I don't really know if that's necessary. Not saying this is bad though. I think sliders are pretty cool. Oh, we could leave it. That's how it would look there. Um, maybe we'll make two versions: one with it there, and not with it there. Let's see which one we like better. Um, my only concern would be if the slider was on the header of every page. I wonder if on a cell phone. It would make each page load a little slower you know, if you didn't have like good service or something. That would be the only concern I'd have. Other than that, I mean, it does look pretty cool. Um, so that was some basics on the mobile editor, some basics on a slider in a photo gallery. Um, so we'll call this video. Um, intro photo gallery slash mobile editor. Okay. And then uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I feel like we actually do have quite a bit of work to do here uh, to make this look up to par. So I'm actually super happy I got involved. Take this right for you guys. See you in the next video.